Statement. This is this is all uh, improvised. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Graphic Ramblers live-ish uh, episode, whatever. Too spooky for Too you. Spooky edition, part of Spooktober. Oh, oh. yeah, it's really terrifying right now. Yeah. We're in California. <laughs> Last week it was super hot. And this week it was like super like eh, cloudy. Yeah. 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 So it's just it's in time it's for the okay video. Okay, though. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is our. Our first real October video? Yeah. yeah the, it first is. One, the first one we did was 24 Hour Comic Book yeah, Day, which you yeah. should go check out. Yes, it's quite good. Um, it was quite tiring. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, it was amazing. We yeah. were approached yesterday um, by our friend Ryan, and he said it was a really good video. So mm -hmm. we're going to put that in the quotes. Yes. <laughs> Ryan approved. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> From the comic book creators meeting that we go to. So. Yes. Um, Shout out to the comic book. Shout well, out to the comic book. Shall we talk about the sketchy oh, book? Oh, yes. We also go to the sketchy book group. They helped us create this lovely piece of art for our wall. Yes. If yeah. you would like to send any art in to see hanging behind us or any posters or anything, yeah. we'll, we'll, feature your, we'll feature your art yeah. at whenever you want. Um, see, like right here is Christine Hip. There's Edward on Breeze. There's Nelly. Right here. There's Mark. Yeah, there's me. There's Kelly. Yeah, there's Kelly. Albert. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Raphael Navarro of mm -hmm. Guns of Blazing. Felix. Um, there's Matt. Mm -hmm. And there's Mark. Matt as well. Uh, yeah. There's so, Ryan's. Right. But yeah, send our way. Arbor posters, guys. Yeah, yes. Uh, anything you want. We'll try to hang it up if we have the space. Yay. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, we'll throw up anything yours. Like today mm -hmm. we promoted our friend Tanya's comic. Which yeah. You should go check out. Oh, Tanya is, is so amazing. Yes. yes. I just read it. I read all three issues. It was yes. awesome. But anyway, enough of like. <laughs> we started out with butt plugs today. Yes. What are we going to be talking about today, guys? Well, Something about. Dead things uh, that are evil. Evil, evil. Ooh, very evil. Dead things. things. Very groovy. <laughs> <laughs> These things aren't subtle enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> very Bruce Campbelly. Yes. Can Bruce Campbell soup on it's mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. like ah! Campbell soup. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. If those things were too subtle, it's obvious that we're talking about Evil Dead mm, because the best. yes, the it's October and we need something to talk about. And yes. Nellie is like a huge fangirl. Uh, yeah. so I'm gonna uh, let her lead this uh, conversation. Uh, <laughs> oh, Evil Dead. What? Mm. From beginning to end, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Just the whole like run of it, including. The well, would you call the, it a remake or the would you? The remake. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess it, Ash. It, spoilers. Ash does come out in the post credit scene like some like weird Evil Dead Nick Fury. <laughs> 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 he just has one line. Like it just he just says groovy. I forgot we have two cameras today. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I'm also not wearing my sunglasses today because it's too dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's too dark for sunglasses. You're just no longer so bright. Yeah. <laughs> so <yeah. laughs> Yes. Also behind the camera is Chris. Science officer Chris. Say hello, science officer. Hello, science officer. <laughs> I'm stuck on literal today. <laughs> um, yes, the Evil, evil Dead. Dead. So good. Revolutionary. Yes. Let's just. It's... I mean. Sam Raimi. We wouldn't have, Spi we have yeah. Spider Man. Introduce the world to Sam Raimi. Yeah. Like, or Hercules. We wouldn't have Hercules. We young have Her Z Xena. We wouldn't have Ryan Gosling. Lucy Wallace, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Dark Man with Liam Neeson. We wouldn't have Liam Neeson, Neeson. guys. We wouldn't have Taken. That Can you imagine his, a world? That was like his breakout role. Was yeah, like Dark Man. Taken but... would be taken away. Yes. Oh. Without this. It's very big. Sad, oh. sad world. Sad world without Liam Neeson. We wouldn't have all those memes. <laughs> Fuck. Could you imagine a world without those Taken memes? Jesus. That'd be or crazy. Liam Neeson's cock. Yeah. What? Oh man. What? We wouldn't have Hollywood Babylon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then I guess by extension you wouldn't have us because without Hollywood Babylon we wouldn't be here. Exactly. exactly. We met Ralph Garvin. He gave us his blessing. He totally yeah. watches this and listens We're to our podcast. We're gonna send this to you now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but, uh, yeah. 
Yes, Mr. Science Officer Chris. We have to give a quick little thank you to Stephen King because when oh, you first saw the right. movie, mm -hmm. uh, it helped to solidify and legitimize the film and helped it to get uh, distribution. Oh, and then yeah, yeah. when Stephen King was doing Maximum Overdrive, he talked. He found out that Sam Raimi wanted to make a sequel, and then he talked to Dino De Laurentiis and said, "Hey." Give them money! Yeah. <laughs> and that's All the money! Yeah. Also, yeah. also the, the Cohen brothers were... Yeah, was, he's Joel Cohen. Joel he Cohen. Okay. the tool shed scene. Okay. Yeah, he well, yeah, we wouldn't have the Cohen brothers in yeah. the Fargo. The Big well, Lebowski. Yeah, which is like my Sam Raimi produced Blood Symbol. Yeah. So. Also, so. all of like, the neat, like... They were very resourceful oh, by yeah. making those so movies. Many, well, it's like the ultimate indie film. Yeah, he, well, was, he was like Robert Rodriguez before yeah. Robert Rodriguez. Like, Matt was just telling me how they filmed the intro to oh, the Oh, yeah, going over the, the swamp with the fog. It was literally just Sam Raimi sitting in a boat holding the camera, mm -hmm. and they had no crew left. Yeah. <laughs> so Bruce Campbell was just push, pushing him <laughs> like, through a swamp. Yeah, yeah. They, they yeah let's just get this man. They did a lot of stuff like that where it was kind of like improvisational yeah. filmmaking. Like that scene where, uh, what is it, Bruce Campbell, he's like being pulled by the, the evil, and then like he's spinning around. Oh, like he's, yeah. he's li That's literally being, being done to him. <laughs> Bruce, he just died. It just happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, like when they're going through like the window, they just broke a window in front, in, like into an actress. Yeah, <laughs> to get some shot. And, uh, yeah. Apparently, like in the first movie, they had to take a minute, like a little break from making the movie because of something, um, and some of the cast couldn't come back. So some yeah. of the people that were the arms or portraying yeah. their monster version wasn't even that actor at that yeah. point. Yeah, you can the, kind of tell the fake shimps. As yeah, they, they actually have that credit on the yeah. movie, right? Mm. Which I think leads lovingly into Evil Dead 2, which was super influenced, like, not just but like, Evil Dead 1 Dead was influenced by, by, by yeah, by Doug. all the horror. <laughs> And Evil Dead 2 is influenced a lot by, like, the Three Stooges. Yeah, it's very super great. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's my favorite. Just, yeah. so, I like Evil Dead 1 more. Just because of, like I'm more of a horror guy, well, you're wrong. <laughs> but, but but I do I will I will say that Evil Dead Two is a better movie. Yeah yeah. Yes. Evil just, Dead 2 actually inspired Peter Jackson to get into filmmaking. He yeah. saw what they had That's, done. Oh, like, led him to I make it, like, Bad Taste and Dead Alive. Yeah. And Lord of the Rings. We have Lord of the Rings. We have Lord of the Rings without Evil. You wouldn't have Lord of the Rings. Started everything. You, uh, you wouldn't have Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. We wouldn't have Lord of the Rings in the movies, I guess, because yeah, well, yeah, it, it already exists. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, like, somehow it's like a time travel thing. Well, maybe because Ash goes back in time, so well, there you go. So, yeah, we wouldn't have any Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have Western <laughs> Civilization without Evil Dead. Yeah, like, pretty much. Can we talk about the iconic scene where he chops up, up his hand, well, chops oh, it off, yes. and he's like... <laughs> In evil the hands. Mouse. That's some of the best <laughs> hand acting movies. Yes. <laughs> Bruce like, Campbell. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's like it's way better than that, that whole movie Idle Hands. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of things that are like yeah. that. Idle Hands. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a real low bar. It's a real low bar. Yeah. Just yeah. when the Very animal obscure. heads start talking. Oh, that's that's maybe my oh, favorite oh, scene. Oh yeah. The, I like the 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 scene where it's the. The, the fucking the 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 deer. That's yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna do a montage of that yeah. now. I feel like this video yeah. is just gonna be a lot of Evil Dead clips and none of yeah, us. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to edit all this together. I'm just like, I gotta find this fucking clip like somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, everything about it's them, so even though good. they had to like recap. The well, first the, Evil Dead at the second. Yeah. The part. other cool thing is Evil Dead Two is actually stands as like almost a remake of Evil Dead One. Since yeah. D Dino De Laurentiis didn't own the rights to the first one, mm -hmm. they couldn't show any footage from it. That's why the first twenty minutes of Evil Dead Two is like a short film, streamlined version of the yeah. first movie. Well, he, I think <laughs> Evil Dead One was even like a like a remake of Sam Raimi's oh, college yeah. project. Like, because like, that was what he like shopped around. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you guys want to give us some money to make this movie? Yeah, and um, I think that's just like Sam Raimi's thing. Like, he just recaps everything in, in like his sequels. Yeah. Like, ever yeah, since then, he... like remember Spider Man Two? Yeah. Like, he recaps all Spider Man like, One. <laughs> yeah, and then Spider Man Three recaps both like, Spider Man One and Two. Well, they, like... <laughs> they even did that for Army of Darkness too, yeah, right? Yeah, they yeah. recap well, again, why he's in there. Yeah, they they didn't have the rights to show for the true movies. <laughs> yeah, because each one is technically at like a different studio. That's mm -hmm. why like it's 
Up until yeah. recently, it was I really mean, the hard trilogy to find them on DVD. was yeah. 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 And I think like Army of Darkness is like the least dark of all yeah. of them. It's, it's the most so comedic. Cool. It was actually the first one I saw. Yeah, that was the first one I saw yeah. as well. Really? Yeah. It was on cable. All right, I'll, I'll tell you how I saw The Evil Dead the first time. Sorry, Matt. Um, I had a boyfriend at the time come oh. by, and he's like, right. "Oh, hey, do you guys do you want to see a scary movie?" So we had like a garden outside and like some random bench. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting there watching it on this tiny ass phone, <laughs> oh. <laughs> or I think it was a PS2, the PlayStation, the handheld oh, ones, PSP. There you go. <laughs> and I was just like, "This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen." And then. Fucking from there it went ham. Yeah. I was like, all right, what else? Well, yeah, for me it was like I watched like Army of Darkness, and then somebody said like, oh yeah, I think that's like a sequel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really? So then I, you know, went down the Google hole and I like found it and watched it, the first one, and it got my high, highest recommendation of like eighteen year old mm -hmm. Matt, which was, oh man, you guys gotta watch this. This movie's so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so fucked up. So fucked up. This and is then my it led to like, yeah, me and all of my friends just like quoting it constantly and like groovy. It's, yeah. Oh man, just Bruce everything. Campbell. Yeah, I, Dude, just a bad that man movie. still looks fudging he handsome. Looks good for, like, oh my god. Yeah. Well, I don't think I think I don't think I, I find him as handsome as you do, now he, but I, I think, think I find him more good. handsome than she does. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw it, I think it was Army of Darkness as well. Uh, it was because my uncle brought it home and. I don't know what the hell it was. I was like, why are they showing like all, is this like two movies? Because I didn't understand why they were showing like, Evil Dead footage. And then later on I found out that Evil Dead 1 and 2 were separate movies. And I found them like at my local blockbuster before it closed down <laughs> last year. I, I was going to ask, okay, since you guys started with the last movie of the run, I guess you would say, what did you guys think when you saw the first ones? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was. It was very it's a, different. They're it's totally. Army of Darkness all three is of them. Each one is game. so different from the one before yeah. it. I uh, I think that's why I liked the uh, the first one more than the the second one because it was more horror, and uh, like I think my I, my dad saw me watch it and he was like, "This movie sucks." <laughs> like I was like, "Get out of here, old man!" I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't see the second one until like way later on because anytime. I, I tried to see it, like, so either something was wrong with the copy, or I couldn't find it. <laughs> Probably because Matt had, had watched it, yeah. so... Yeah, that's exactly. Like, Matt was the reason I only saw Evil Dead 1 for a while. I, I think the nostalgia about Evil Dead 1 is also the crazy amount of, like, practical effects that they used in mm -hmm. that one. Evil Dead 2, yeah. too. Yeah, but... It just... I don't know, I guess... It I was think, the think, starting point, so when you see it on Evil Dead 2, you're just like, <laughs> you're expecting that stuff yeah, to happen. Yeah, I, I think Evil Dead 1 is more raw, like, than Evil It'll Dead 2. Love, yeah. it, it's, it's not, it doesn't seem as polished, and I like that about it, mm -hmm. versus Evil Dead 2, like, it's it's a better movie, and, like, a lot of the effects are done well, but I like the, the grainy and the grime, like, it's, grittiness of the first yeah. one more so. It looks like the actors, because in the second movie, like Matt has pointed out, um, it just seems like they took that hilarious aspect that they didn't well, know that like, they had and the, went with it versus it feels they were going like try hard in the first movie. Sam Evil Dead 2 is almost Sam Raimi making fun of Evil Dead 1 and I kind of enjoy the like meta-ness of that. Like, yeah. yeah oh, no. Remember how shitty the scene was? Yeah. Now we're gonna do it as a joke. Like, yeah. <laughs> But like, then it gives you like total whiplash and does something like the the scene where the heads and the lamps start laughing, mm -hmm. which is actually like to me maybe like my the scariest part of the movie for me. Yeah. So yeah. pretty disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. To me, the way I see him is, I feel like the second one, Ash is revisiting the cabin. I don't see it as the beginning of it all over again. So I'm just like, motherfucker didn't learn his lesson the first time. Yeah. <laughs> Has to go back in it. <laughs> and you can, and then you, shit goes down. You, you can treat them as like sequels to each other or as like standalone. Yeah. Except for like two and three, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. they tie so directly mm -hmm. into one another. Which leads me to uh, the reboot. The remake. The remake. The remake, remake whatever. Yeah. The, the yeah. R. I get, I get reboot is more appropriate because remake it would have to be more. Faithful to be a remake. Yeah, right? it, it like, took its know. own spin. Yeah, I think it's great. I think Fetty Alvarez 
it, it served the purpose that the first one served of mm-hmm. like, hey guys, look it's how, just, it's straight look how amazing horror, Sam right? Raimi is. This one was just like, look how fucking amazing Fetty Alvarez is. Yeah, I'm yeah. probably mispronouncing also, his name. Also, I really like that they didn't try to bring make an actor to be Ash. Yeah, they had a guy dressed like him, and, and for a long time I thought that was going to be like the new Ash. But, well, they, but, but the, I like that they took the a girl. The sister kind of went yeah. up being Yeah, Ash. and she's just fucking... It, it feels more like a sequel to it because because it's not yeah like, there's a lot of like references to Evil Dead one like it's kind of like more of a sequel to that than actually like Army of Darkness or anything. I actually kind of see yeah. that would be but but yeah. there's like that that part with the Necronomicon where you see like the the being or whatever and he look like the, the bad guy he looks like the guy from Army of Darkness like the evil Ash like mm-hmm. he's yes. got his like scarred up face. oh it's yeah, yeah. new fan theory yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's so, I think post it was... on Reddit <laughs> I, I'm posting on fan theories on Reddit so like find me I'm not gonna tell you my my handle but I think if you look at it that way which is the way I saw it as a a sequel to the movies yeah. mm-hmm. it you can't it, it stands on its own mm-hmm. pretty well but if you try to compare evil dead one to that one you're gonna knock that first well the remake out of yeah. the park because evil dead one is just a lot more fun yeah, yeah even I, though the makeup job was real cool and like the little like flashbacks to yeah. old things that well, happened in the like movies the nostalgia yeah. was cool yeah. yeah well did you ever hear about what um the rumor for a long time was yeah. for what the post credit scene would be because yeah. you know how they're hinting that maybe she's still possessed by a demon spoiler alerts uh-huh. at the end it's been out years. who cares yeah. <laughs> you guys had your chance yeah <laughs> come on guys yeah. Is uh she like winds up like walking down the road and she's clearly like becoming possessed again and mm-hmm. then truck pulls up to pick her up and Dash. yeah you just oh, hear okay. this is my boomstick and he just blows her away like, oh, like he knows what she is my God. and that would have set up like um, Army of Darkness two yeah <laughs> which I think they're still trying to do or they were up until I guess this is a yeah. segue to the new the Evil Dead series. yes. So oh excited. my god! Which I, haven't, I haven't seen Ash vs. Yeah. the Evil Dead. Well, yeah. We're making it a little bit before it has yeah. come out. We'll post Isn't it already out? It's no, already out. it comes Halloween. out Halloween Day. Oh, okay. exactly. I'm fucking counting down the days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be big guys. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're gonna be at Kamikaze that day. Yeah. Yeah. Look for us. But they'll probably do something for that, that day. Probably. I, be I fucking like hope so. Or like a watching of it or something. It's, yeah. I, I, I really like what they're going with this and the it, way they're going about it. Totally it looks a lot more like Army of Darkness. Yeah. I, I think like it it has um whose phone is that? <laughs> um it has a lot of like uh, the, the the tonal similarity to Army of Darkness. Like it's very like lighthearted and like you know like funny, like yeah. comedic but um, it's it's it kind of makes up for the horror aspect with like new monsters. Yeah, and, like, yeah some of those monsters yeah. look really cool. Yeah, and like like really like gruesome like stuff to balance it out. Kind of like a nice balance between the, yeah. the, the 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 spectrum of their funny horror things. If you haven't seen the trailer, I recommend it. It. It's so yeah. amazing it's how like they're a, like, uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, I'm real old now. I got a guy. I have, <laughs> you know, I'm. They they point out the fact that yes, this is a couple years later. Yeah. We're not trying to make it He's right after. And smart now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's only been a couple years after Army of Darkness, yeah. but I'm like suddenly old because of time travel or something, yeah, which no, they could have done. Like yeah. You know, but yeah. he's he's an old fart, and they're pointing at that, and yeah. that's the coolest part of it. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to see it. I love Evil Dead. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes, Chris. Sam Raimi has said, like, in an ideal, perfect world where it's, everything goes completely flawless, after the TV series, there's gonna, he would like Fede Alvarez to make another movie, the sequel to Evil Dead. And then him and Fede Alvarez want to combine the oh, yeah, Evil Dead yeah, 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 and the character Mia from the 2013 remake into their own movie. Oh yeah. my god, can I ship yeah, them hard even though life. like they're not in the same age group? <laughs> well, you can't, like, not, well, shipping doesn't necessarily mean like relationships, it could just be like, like I just want them to be like, like best friends yeah. and yeah. Best like friends kick with ass. ass. Yeah. yeah, I want them to be like the pinky and the brain of kicking ass. I would see more like Wolverine. I like my thing better. Wolverine, <laughs> I just like anytime I can reference Kid Pinky in the Brain. So I'm on board. Yeah, I'm just a stubborn asshole, but I respect Nelly. I don't mean to be like. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Um, Groovy. <laughs> so, is oh, that man. is that it? I think that's that yeah. is a wrap 
Both I... our... Yes, oh, yes. I have one thing I can spoil for everyone before the TV <sighs> series comes no out. Uh, no, no it's, it's small, it's small. <sighs> no, it could be huge for us. Uh, Scale is relative. Okay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we can post about it. Yeah, yes. Just tell us after the, after yeah. the video wraps. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's it. That's our, our and Evil and Dead, Evil Dead Retrospective. Yeah. Yeah. Who's if you haven't you know, seen it, go watch it. It's amazing. All all four yeah. of them. And tune into the TV show. We're going to be doing that. Yeah. So. It's coming soon. That movie you guys have to watch. It's so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> and then camera two died. Yeah, it died a long time. Yeah. Ago. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, we're just here, guys. All right, guys. You have a you have a happy and safe Halloween. Yes. Tune in, tune in to the next one. See us at Kamikaze if you're yes. there. Bubbles. Yes. Buttholes. Buttholes. Look out for our super secret stickers. Oh, and next week uh, we'll have our our new podcast episode, which yes. I'm really excited for. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, oh. but it's Halloween related. Yeah, it's, <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. it's it's gonna be real witchy. Oh man! <laughs> All right, guys. You have a good one. Yay. Happy Halloween.